A new report released today by the Southern Poverty Law Center analyzing hate and extremist groups in America. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Guy Rawlings. And I'm Sherry Falk. The director of the SPLC says what we're seeing now is more troubling than at any other time in recent history. WVTM 13's Lisa Crane joins us live in Birmingham. What does the report show, Lisa? Well, while the SPLC didn't see a real increase in the number of hate and extremist groups they identified up only four since last year, they say what's disturbing is the change of tactics they've seen in this group since the January 6th riot at the Capitol. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center report, this takeover at the U.S. Capitol in 2021 changed the way hate and extremist groups work. They say the groups are on Main Street now, attacking the government, people of color, and the LGBTQ community. The far right is really mobilized around this issue right now. They're on really kind of an anti-LGBTQ and especially anti-trans crusade. Um, and there's little that compares to the level of mobilization and coordination that we've seen from them. Um, you know, really since the beginning of the Trump movement. And obviously it's dangerous because it demonizes and it dehumanizes people, uh, which can create the conditions for violence, which we've unfortunately seen many times. The report also has suggestions on how to fight back against the groups and their messages. Call on policymakers um, to push back against the anti-LGBTQ and especially anti-trans legislation that is making its way through so many state houses um, that denies crucial medical care to trans children and adults. Now, the report also notes a decline in one area. The SPLC tracked 61 active militia groups in 2022. That's down from 92 they identified in 2021. Live in Birmingham, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.